Hi guys, welcome back to the Lacquer Bermuda channel. My name is Astoria Smith. I am the owner and operator of Lacquered Lounge and Lacquered on Location. Today I want to do something fun and a little bit different. I know everyone is stuck inside, so you're probably doing some spring cleaning forced. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you, before I throw away all of my old traditional makeup products, I wanted to show you what I used to use and what I use now so you guys can get an idea of how to switch over to green beauty and what you can do. I usually would start off with a primer. So you see use this product. It's a black up product. It's mattifying. Um, best for probably ladies who would have had oily skin, which I don't actually have, but I just really liked this product. So now that I'm doing Green Beauty, I actually switched over. So what I do is include a few products in my moisturizing routine. So I've actually switched over from using a traditional primer to adding things to my moisturizing regime that will help the products stick to the skin and last a little bit longer. So let me show you what I use. First, I will put on my hydrating firming serum. Then I'll go in with the anti-aging facial oil and then finish off with a daily solution SPF 15. All these products are actually built to work with your makeup and to help them stick. So in addition to moisturizing the face, protecting you from the sun, um, and adding a little bit of anti-aging, they'll also help the makeup stick to you. So next, I used to use either Maybelline Infallible or this Bobbi Brown foundation. Um, I like a really light to medium foundation. Um, I don't need a lot of coverage. Um, I actually really like to have my skin look like skin um, and be really nice and dewy. And so I've started to use an RMS product. So I use RMS on cover up. This right here is light to medium coverage. It's coconut oil based and it is food grade. So you actually can eat it. It doesn't taste very good though. <laughs> Um, it's really easy to use. It really looks like skin. It gives you a really nice dewy finish, which is what I like. And it's super easy to apply. It blends right in. <laughs> so next I'm going to conceal. What I used to use is this. Um, it's from Black Opal. I actually really used to like their products. It's um, mainly black or women of color um, products, but an awesome range. And I actually used to carry this in my kit before I switched over to RMS for my makeup kit. Now again, I use RMS on cover up just in a different color. So in a color down, so number 44. So you can apply them with a brush, or you can just simply use your fingers and dot it on and they work really well. I always suggest that if you're doing your base or foundation that you're using a dense brush or a sponge if you're more comfortable with that. That usually will help eliminate any streaks or lines while you're getting your base on so it will give you a little bit of help getting a more even base. down and outward. Because I'm going for more of a full glam look today, I'm actually going to use that color on the forehead. Down the middle of the nose as straight as I can. <laughs> and underneath this on the chin. So I'm gonna blend this out just the same. And 
and now it's time for powder. I used to love um, this Fitting powder by Maybelline. It's a little bit lighter um, than my powder that I would use all over the face, so I used to use this specifically to highlight underneath the eyes or anywhere that I want to pop out. Now I use an RMS powder and I use the same concept. So it's something a little bit lighter that's going to make the areas pop a little bit more. And I also use this a little bit to enhance my contour. Next, before I increase my contour, I'm actually going to bronze the face. I used to love this product. This is the Sun Powder Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC Cosmetics. I used to love this. I've been using this since I was like 16. <laughs> Probably without any other makeup on, just bronzer because I thought it looked nice. <laughs> now I use another color of RMS. Um, so I use 88, and if you can look, that's pretty similar color to the MAC cosmetic product. I'm just going to dip in, I'm going to go over the forehead um, and kind of in a three formation around the face to bring some nice color to the face to make it look a little bit sun -kissed. The trick I like to use for blending is to hold the barrel of the brush a little bit back. So if you're holding it close, you tend to be applying pressure, and then you're applying the pressure on your brush. So you're going to make those areas that you're putting on a little bit bigger. Whereas if you hold it back here, then you can apply it a little bit more gingerly, and then build it up. Just gives you a little bit more room to play. So now I'm going to take that same powder, 2 to 3, um, from RMS, and I'm going to just carve out the bottom here. And again, this is just for a full glam look. You don't have to do this every time. Okay. I used to use this product again from MAC. It's a fluid line brow gel cream. It's super dark actually, um, and I think that I was wearing my brows a little bit darker um, and a little less natural than I do now. So this is what I used to use. Now I use this palette. This is something that I am testing and will be bringing in for Lacquer Lounge. Um, but I usually use a combination of this light color and this dark color to push through the brows to make them look really natural but a little bit more present. I'm just gonna brush away that powder. So one of my favorite blushes used to be this one from Tarte. I think I got it at Sephora, and I couldn't get your free packages, but I just thought it was really nice, icy pink. Um, but now I have this product. This one's a lot warmer. Um, a lot nicer, I think, and better for my skin tone. Um, although I would encourage people to play with all colors um, and in all skin tones, I think that this one is a little bit more forgiving. Um, it doesn't take as much working to get it to work for my skin. So this is called Promise. It's actually a lip and cheek, so you can use it on both, which is awesome. I love products that you can do that with.
actually loved using purple um, and I loved this Huda Beauty palette um, as you can see <laughs> that purple color is one that I definitely have been using or was well loved um, so what I'm going to do today to recreate a purple um, is actually use a purple lipstick from RMS so I'm going to use a combination of two purple lipsticks and then um, use something else to get a little bit of a pop in the inner corner so follow with me I like to be the type of artist that can use anything, any medium, anything for the eyes or lips or you know as long as it's for the face I will use it pretty much anywhere so um, life's more fun that way <laughs> so I'm going to use a color called Sweet Nothing it's this purpley color really similar to the one that's in the Hue Beauty palette I'm just going to dip my brush right on the tip there From the middle of the eye to the outer corner. I'm not going to take this Ella Hamir palette. I'm going to mix together the blush right here, just right, and tease. And then I'm going to just blend out so there's no harsh lines at the top there. I'm going to take a lip to cheek. This is in the color Diabolic, but it's a really deep plummy purple color. I'm going to pop this in the outer corner of the eyes to give some definition. I'm going to take that same color and then pull it just down on the la lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take Scarlet Peach, which is a RMS highlighter, this um, from the middle to the inner corner of the eye. I'm also going to use this highlighter on the top of my cheeks there. So I'm just going to make a C formation just around here. Next I'm going to do eyeliner, so I used to really love this Maybelline um, Tattoo Studio eyeliner. I actually switched over because it's really hard to find the sharpener, um, so I ended up and landed on one that I really like. That's a green alternative and that's from Green People. So it's just as smudgy, um, it goes on really black, um, but it's really nice and easy to go on and you can smudge it to get a diffused line or something really defined as well. I'm going to draw a line on here. I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm just going to take it and smudge it right along the lash line. Okay, so next I'm going to do mascara. Do you see this generic one? It's, I think, off Amazon. It's called The Lash. It's a two step one. So one was fibers, one was a sealing agent, and you did it until. You are happy. Um, I now use something by Green People. It's a defining mascara, defining and volumizing. So that's this. Okay. So last but not least, I'm going to do a lip. Um, so I actually really love doing a nude lip, but for me, a nude lip always has multiple products. Um, so let me show you what it used to look like. Oh, classic. This is Cork uh, from MAC Cosmetics. 
then I would go in and put something a little bit lighter in the middle uh, to see which one I would stick. So I amused cosmetics and then this is from the use as well, but I will top it off with a lipstick. And this is something that I still do, just a different product, so I'll show you. This is a lip liner as well, and it can be used as a lipstick. So.